I would attach the link to the first one up here so you can watch. Running in the compound and doing the lyrics. No, no, I'm going to say the, the story. Let me say the story very well. <laughs> No, I'm mean, thinking you remember. Okay, what happened that day was that it was already hyper, like the emotions, butterflies were flying around. Like they were ready to singing beautiful songs. So I was like, let's Brother go outside. K, and... Papa K. <laughs> so I was like, let's go outside and play. And that leads me to another point that I would like to share about energies. Emotions are energies. You can channel it into something else. If you're feeling happy, you can channel it into dancing, singing. If you're feeling sad, you can channel it into many. I remember when I was single, how I used to deal with emotions was that I would do something else. As in, I could start playing music and singing out loud. Ah, I would start singing. Or I could do, just channel that energy into something else. And you will realize that psh, it goes like that. Like breeze. So emotions are energies and you should be able to control I will tell the energy to washing plates. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's cutting grass. I know somebody that said that they started, we went outside in front of their house and started cutting grass. Everybody started, is it in the midst of cutting grass that the <laughs> devil will now come and do something? So please, channel that energy into something else. Create your boundaries. Maintain your boundaries. Like you said, that day... location. Like you said, that, and I don't sit in the same place and say, bro, don't touch me. Yeah, don't sister, do don't touch me. Yeah, I, like that movie we watched. <laughs> like that movie we watched. Um, the, the, the man was like, I bind you. Uh, he was speaking. It was pretty. It was. He just wept. He just wept. He was, um, what was it called? Quoting scriptures that were wrong. Out of context. <laughs> Out of because context. Because he was trying to was. stay. So please, at that point, when you are, be the help of the other person that may be weak, God will not allow both of us to be weak at the same time. Yeah. Somebody used to pray a prayer that may opportunity not meet, uh, be how they used to put it, uh, but I don't know how to yeah. put it, shall, but may, may, may evil not meet opportunity in our mm. lives in the name of Jesus. So yeah. at that point, somebody else will be weak. That's how scripture says that two are better than one. If one fall, the other person can live, but don't fall before they lift you. So at that point where you feel like there's tension in the midst of everybody, you know, release the tension. Somebody walks out and start, you know, like that day, we started running relay race with kids. Yeah. It was very funny, but it was a tactic to be able to deal with that thing. Yeah. So please, create and maintain boundaries that are peculiar to your own situation. You know yourself already, so you know your triggers, your tendencies. So create and maintain boundaries that are based on scriptures. Scripture says abstain from all appearance of evil, which means that when evil is appearing, People may see you as weak. That uh, it's not that deep, you know. You can still do this, but you know yourself already. So please create these boundaries and maintain them, and God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. It leads us to, I think, the fourth point. Now, yeah, right? and I'll, I'll say this: that fourth point is to help the third point, which is um, when one is weak, the other will be strong. But in a situation where both are weak, then we now need an outside. Mm. Party yes. So the fourth one is to stay accountable to a spiritual authority. Mm -hmm. Somebody you both respect. One. Somebody that shares the, the same, same convictions conviction. as you guys. Scriptural convictions. Not just, oh, this is what we believe in my family. <laughs> or this is what I believe personally. And not no. just anybody. Like, okay, because this person is he used to teach ritual, about marriage. Teaches about marriage. He doesn't know you. You don't know he does, him. He doesn't have a weight on you. His words does not carry so much Strain. weight on you. If he says, if he says anything, he can't threaten you. He can't because he can't give instructions. Yes, and like he's not, he's not somebody you can listen to that mm -hmm. says, "Oh, stop doing this," and then you know it's that. Not that the man is wrong or the man is weak or something, but because there is. The level of familiarity is not yet there. You don't know each other. So his words does not have so strong a weight on you. So mm -hmm. too. You don't go for people like that. Yes, prayerfully get somebody. It might, it might, it might be somebody you have been interacting with as a spiritual parent already. Somebody who is a spiritual head over you that you respect. Get that person who can tell you, oh, oh, this thing, this thing. Who knows you already and knows your peculiarities, okay? And the person knows that. This thing, this thing. I remember Who has that the time. Right to flog you. <laughs> when you misbehave, yes. I remember that time, that day that the atmosphere was very tense. Butterflies came out to play that day. Ah, they were everywhere. And I was like, which kind of thing be this? It was only God that saved us. My auntie arrived and everything went wow. back to normal. And everything <laughs> went back to normal. And then we were able to, you know, salvage the situation. Nothing happened. God kept us. Nothing but that day, <laughs> that day, my husband called. 
I am uh, switch up brain and it was like to today was a miracle. My switch up uh, father oh, flogged him. <laughs> said, do like he gave I him instructions. Yes. Mm. So he was able to bring us back to order and then being accountable helped that you. time. All the butterflies were flitted with the rain and bigger. <laughs> being accountable actually helps you to stay sane. Like even when things are almost getting you you know that if I do this thing, I sin against God first. I offend and hurt people who are looking up to people me that trust you. and i also offend and hurt people you are looking up to mm-hmm. people who have who are celebrating and god in your relationship yes hmm. so please god will help us to stay you know accountable to his, and don't be jumping from what say this one is my spiritual spiritual because yeah, the person does not now and you people are standing both on scriptures. Like I said, scriptural principles, not just people's personal principles mm-hmm. now, because people have personal principles. But then scriptural principles, and then before you know, before the, because the person said, ah, why did you do this? Why did you do this? Something you that you one. jump. You say, this one looks a little permissive, you know? Let me accept. Please, somebody that you both respect, somebody that you both can listen to, the person will help to keep you in check or on days that is like the devil wants to have the upper and that person will help to keep you in check i remember when i chatted daddy up and i was like ah can i at least hug even if it's just side hug and like that is the both side hug front hug, Back, hug. <laughs> every form of hug is not acceptable because he knew me he knows that <laughs> glory it only takes a side hug to run so <laughs> god god he, 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 that name kept me in check and he kept me very much accountable takes us to the next point which is be vigilant mm. watch over your emotions okay yeah. i wanted to say about that, that thing yeah <laughs> it's 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 necessary to watch over your emotions when your emotions are at an extreme be it very high mm-hmm. or very low when you are very joyful you can fall when you are very sorrowful you can fall i remember two instances that was the first time you came to see me when I was not feeling fine. I brought a uh, watermelon. I came with people. Boy. Guys, I didn't go alone. No. Of course. Please. She came with two children. Monitoring spirit. <laughs> <laughs> because where we stayed, where she stayed, those um that those couples they had kids, so and they had even instructed their children. Only Papa K and Auntie Glory in the house alone. No, these guys were watching, man. In fact, it got to the point that one I, of them said, I heard, I heard a sound. Who did moi? I said, Nobody, nobody. They were so you know, very watchful. They, they were so, so careful. They were sick. watching us. So there was a time I was sick. She came with watermelon and do go, 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 because there was nobody See, I mean, around. I, that bread. Time. I was a kind of, um, See, wife to be, and I didn't have plenty money. <laughs> What do I do with it? <laughs> and it was God that saved me at that time. Another another time I was so down was when I lost my phone. I was, how could I have lost my phone? In fact, it was so painful. And then I could to not call, you. so she was trying to reach me. And <laughs> just told me, I called my daddy, I can't hear I can't reach you. you if not for God, we would have just been here. Yeah, sorry, sorry. From sorry in the head to sorry in the lips. So <laughs> you know, just in a bit to show love yes, and all that. So yes, that's, that's, that's be very true because that one you mentioned about your phone, you know, you in a bit because you must be there for the person you are caught in, okay? Oh. So maybe they lost something or they are going through hard times financially and then you want to be there. You are just like, oh, baby, I'm so sorry. You went, to, you go to see them with somebody else, of course. Don't go alone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> so you go to see them and then you begin to say, oh, 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 before you know, the devil can take advantage of that of low moment, okay, all, yes, yeah. of that low moment and before you know, so be, be very vigilant and times where you are happy, before you know, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to say anything, I, you already I, know, so when you are hmm. happy, when you are sad, when you are on the high, like he said, when you are on the low, Pay exactly. attention to it and be very, very vigilant. Our yeah. adversary, the devil, is doing like this. What is he doing? Seeking who he may divorce. So God will help us to keep yeah. um 
pure in our relationship, keep pure in our courtship, and handle these butterflies very well until the time where we are allowed by rear God. Them properly. <laughs> he said, rear them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's true. The rearing it, rearing it, because so that the inspiration can if, if they are not in the home, you have to question what is mm. happening and start praying. So butterflies oh God, are needed. Produce butterflies. <laughs> That's if when you are married, but when you are married, when you are in courtship, oh God, please tame the butterfly. Yes, keep so, them uh-huh. in check. Uh-huh. Yes. So the last point we're going to be talking about is <laughs> be patient. Be patient. Mm-hmm. First Corinthians thirteen. Is it First Corinthians? Yes. Okay, that. <laughs> first Corinthians that talked about charity, love. First I think Corinthians, First Corinthians yeah. thirteen. It says love. that love is what patient. I remember one word. suffering. Oh, suffer. Oh, boom. Long suffering. I remember one time that um, um, I reached out to that D about you know talking to you about some things, and then daddy was like, "There is grace for temperance, even when the temperature is rising." So when mm. you f- yes, <laughs> you, you know how daddy talks now. It was like you can do it, you can do it. Calm down. I know that becoming that patience, be patient. <laughs> yeah, so be very patient. There will Unless be time. Every time God gives a gift, it is good and perfect. And God gives you time to enjoy mm-hmm. that gift. So don't like feel like, don't feel rushed. Don't feel rushed. Like, ah, mm, don't let the devil put you under any pressure. Like you said, if eventually, God forbid, the courtship doesn't lead to marriage. At that point, you, the you are at rest. Be dead at, in fact, like if you are done, anything, the, the regret will be dead. But if nothing has happened, maybe because you guys are struggling with compatibility, being consistent in compatibility, and then two of you have to go apart. Or for other reasons, the courtship did not lead to marriage. So you'll be able to still be sane, or the heart will be there, but at least you are saying that, okay, yeah. nothing You have the, the honor is... that you kept yourself. Mm-hmm. Because the how will you be looking there. at brother Josiah? Huh? Her brother taught me. Even yeah. if you did not do anything, the guilt, mm-hmm. the, you will not be able to stand before that person begin to be there yeah. so god will help us stay patient there is grace for temperance even when your temperature is reading 150 <laughs> okay so god can help us god yeah. helped us we're together in the same place like we had moments minutes apart, yeah. yes we had we had moments but god was able to help us and this point we have mentioned are the major points that kept us first we, we shared the same convictions. Secondly, we knew ourselves and we communicated our knowledge to one another. Hmm. So Three, we that. create we created boundaries. Yes. We had boundaries. We had I didn't mention the specific boundaries because we are different. Uh, 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 situations are different. More principle, principle based, than more than rules, right? So create boundaries that will help your relationship based on the knowledge you have of yourself. Okay, if you know that um Talking to this person deep into the night triggers the person. That's not the time you should not be talking to the person. Are you trying to draw the devil's tail? Mm. So don't don't put yourself up in situations where you know that you cannot handle. Two of you are sitting in a place. Nobody's there. Mm. Ah. So please, there are no Nobody rules that kids. should be set. There are no rules, but then scripture provides us with a word that we should abstain from all appearance. If it looks like it, abstain. You will have the time. Stolen waters are always like mm-hmm. sweet, very sweet. But please, yeah. there is grace, there is strength, there is grace. So four, we said, um, or five, is that five? Five, we said, stay accountable to a higher authority. We said, be vigilant, be be sensitive, be attentive, pay attention to your environment where you're happy, where you're sad. And then lastly, we said, be patient. God will help us to lead beautiful lives, God glorifying lives. The aim of every relationship leading to marriage is such that God is glorified. It's not just to make you happy, although happiness is something that comes in it, but then that's not the goal. The goal is to make you holy, separated unto God, and then pleasing unto God. God will help us to lead lives. I believe this is a blessing to somebody out there who is probably in courtship or looking forward to a courtship that is God glorifying. Please, marriage is honorable in all with the bed on the fault. God will help us. God will help us. Amen. God will help all of us. God has helped Amen. us. And now we are in marriage. God is helping us. God will also help you when you come to that place, you would cross it. And if you are already there, God will help you to cross it. Amen. There's grace to wait. Yeah. Thank you and so you much. you will enjoy your marriage. Yes, you will you enjoy wait. your marriage. Just like I'm enjoying my with Papa K. Even though sometimes you used to. <laughs> <laughs> Who used to? 
<laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Used to, yeah. to do some things, but you know, we'll I have grace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you guys for watching.